<clears throat> All right, uh, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Going to be talking about pods today. I'm a pod guy. I like pods. I like using them. They're super convenient. And for the smoker, I feel like there's really no better transition into vaping away from combustion than the pod system. And I've done, you know, a few pod reviews here and there. And then a few months ago, I did a, a pods ranked type of video. We're doing that again. I like to rank my pods because there's been some changes. Things have left the desk. Things have come back to the desk. So this is going to be the June official Grim Green pod rankings. Let's dive into this. As far as what I use and what's on my desk, I have two like top tier, what I consider, you know, the cream of the crop, the elite pod systems that I just love into the ground that I find to be the most reliable as far as like a consistent vape, what I find to be the most reliable as far as consistent flavor, good airflow. And it's not going to be a huge surprise, but those two pods are the Vupu V through. I still really tremendously, tremendously stand by this pod. And in this June pod ranking video, still remains, I think, number one at the top. Come on, that's awesome. The latest Weenax K1 from Geek Vape is also, you know, it's kind of right up there. It's a top tier pod, in my opinion. I love the crap out of this for the same reasons that I love the crap out of that V through. It has slightly smaller battery in it, but the vape that you get from it, it's got that nice, pretty tight airflow. It's got a similar hair trigger. It just fires right away, just delivers nice, warm, flavorful vapor. And I really like this one because you can, you can dangle it. You can kind of put it in your teeth. And when I'm sitting here working in the such as, that's really convenient too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just working. So those are like my top two right now. And I've had some other pods kind of sitting on my desk and there's one that's gonna be leaving that I just have no desire to vape anymore. And it, it's the Vaporesso X Ross. Everyone keeps telling me that they love this pod and I don't get it. I feel, and I have no information, no data, no science. You know, I'm not DJ LSB vapes with like spectrometers or anything to measure this, but I feel like the Vapor SOX Ross is overclocked. I feel like the default setting on this is too high of a wattage for the coil heads that they provide you. It's not terrible. I just wish I could turn it down about two watts because it feels too hot and I keep burning through coil heads too quickly. Despite the X Ross having an adjustable airflow, it's not enough for me. The X Ross leaving. I think another thing that's gonna be leaving my desk is the Aegis Nano. I was really stoked on this. I thought it was so slick and cool and when I finally got it into a good mouth to lung, I loved it. It's a real nice open mouth to lung. The only problem is with such an open mouth to lung, I feel like it's not drawing enough liquid into the coil head. And I find myself running into dry hits, pretty frequently as well as constantly turning down my wattage and when you're suddenly constantly turning down your wattage that is the sign of a dying coil head it starts to taste like cardboard might start tasting a little bit dry you're constantly turning down your wattage yep new coil head time and unfortunately this particular coil head in here barely lasted through three refills before it done so the aegis nano it's leaving the desk. And one of the wild cards of this whole thing is the Soren Air Pro. I said in that video, it's gonna make a fine addition to my pods, you know, to my desk pods. And it has, it's remained on the desk. It's filled up with Dragon Shake right now. Tastes delicious. This coil head still going strong. And I love the bigger battery of the Soren Air Pro. When I'm vaping it, you know, next to daily, like the Weenax or the V through, and it's like, oh, V through is dead, gotta switch the battery. Oh, Weenax is dead, gotta switch the battery. Soren Air Pro seems to never die. And, you know, it's weird because one of the reasons I really like the Weenax is because it's so small and real easy to handle. You can dangle it in your mouth, you can bite it with your teeth if you want to. Feels real lightweight and small and techy. This feels much heavier, but still real slick and techy. And despite its size, it's still really comfortable in the hand and real easy to handle. In fact, I hold this like this, like almost like I would hold a cigarette if I was smoking a cigarette and I kind of just prop my thumb underneath. I don't know what it is. This is really 
really comfortable to hold. This is still only my second coil head on this and it is still going tremendously strong. These Soren Air Pro coil heads seem so far to last a nice long time. So Soren Air Pro, you're staying on the desk and I'm gonna continue to enjoy this because I really, really like it. But as far as the actual rankings go, I think it's gonna fall below the Weenax and below the V through. But it's holding its own, you know? It's, it's staying, it's competing, it's staying in the competition. See, and another thing that's gonna be leaving my desk too is I had such high hopes for that Yearn 2, the neat, because I loved the Yearn 1 so much. Really, truly stellar pod system. Great airflow, great flavor. So I had high expectations for this. Unfortunately, I don't love how cheap these batteries feel. They feel uh, like you, they got it, they, you know, they came from a disposable kit. Additionally, the coil heads, these little pods for the Yearn Neat, don't seem to be lasting me a very long time and they fail quickly and suddenly. When this Yearn 2 coil head fails on you, the airflow just becomes so tight you can't use it anymore. It's still vaping and the flavor is actually pretty good, but the airflow is so stiff that I get slurps. I get like slurpiness happening in there. I'm keeping this around for now because I like the flavor that's in here, but I have a feeling that this coil head isn't gonna last me more than a few more days. So dang, neat, you're, you're staying just for now. It's You're strictly on a probationary period right now. Now the two wild cards of this whole thing are two things that I've reintroduced back into the desk. That is, oh, it's the UL Whirl S. Now. I don't know if we can consider this a pod system, but for the sake of this video, I'm considering this a pod system. I burned through the three coil heads that I had originally for the UL Whirl S, and I didn't have any more. So I thought, well, that sucks. I'm gonna need to get some more coil heads for this. So as I'm about to go order some UL Whirl S coil heads, found a box of them. <gasps> so I got this set up as soon as humanly possible, and it is just as delightful as I remember it. Now, you don't have to run yours with a big dorky drip tip. I just like it with a big dorky drip tip because I like to hold it near the end down here and just... It's got a really nice little auto switch in there. It has adjustable airflow on the bottom so I can dial it into my exact resistance that I like. It does sometimes feel a little bit turbulent in the airflow, but I kind of look past that because as soon as I inhale, I go, oh yeah, that's a, that, that is a good mouth to lung. So this Whirl S has been back on the desk with authority and kind of giving the Weenax and the V through a little bit of like bench time. I have literally just been grabbing for just this since it's been back. Obviously I can't say right now if it's going to like dethrone the V through or the Weenax or anything like that, but man, this Whirl S, I know, it, it looks dumb, it looks dorky. It's a big, it's a big tube, I just, Love it. Uh, it'll be interesting, I guess, for me and whoever watches these pod ranked videos to see how that shakes out. I want to see what the Whirl S does, you know, sidelining some other pods. The second wild card in this is I reset up a Coco. People are still raving about them. And ever since I received, you know, like the Weenax and the V through and kind of the Whirl S, the Coco and the, and the Cali Burn G just didn't do it for me. What wasn't feeling it so much anymore. But due to popular demand and by request, yep, Set up another Coco, set up another Caliburn G pod inside of the Coco. It's been decent. One thing that I've noticed revaping the Coco and the Caliburn G pods is they have that thing where you can flip the pod and get two different airflows. The problem I'm running into is I've become so finicky and picky with my mouth to lung airflow that the open airflow kind of feels a little bit too open and then the closed down airflow feels a little bit too tight. In fact, it's so tight it kind of reminds me of like a dying coil head of experience. If I had to pick one right now, I think I've been preferring the tighter mouth to lung on the Coco. So yeah, this let's this is how it's going to shake out right now. Here's the ranking. V through still remains. In first place, it's the Vupu V through. Second place, it's the Weenax K1 from Geek Vape. And a very solid third place, quickly eyeballing the second place, 
It's the Whirl S from UWell, confidently, confidently sitting in fourth place. It's the Soren Air Pro, and then rounding up the bottom, it's the Coco. You know, it's it's the little the little pod that could. It's kind of just barely hanging on there. I feel like still trying to remain relevant. Like these two pods are going over here, going, "We're the best that ever existed." And the Coco's like, "Hey, me too, guys. Me too." <laughs> I can't put any shopping links down in the description, but I can put a link to the NYU School of Global Public Health where researchers there analyzed the 2019 CDC National Youth Tobacco Survey data and found that most young people do not vape and even fewer vape regularly. So the NYU School of Global Public Health fears that the youth vaping epidemic may have been overblown. So yeah, no matter what's in your hand, you guys, let's keep vaping. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and then I'm uh... Gonna smoke, so 